three game series, but hey, you know, recency bias, maybe. Maybe so. But what I see between those two guys' favorite games is that they like to have fun. And hopefully that translates over into this set because at the end of the day, we're all here to have fun. I mean, we're all here to win too. But like, if you're not having fun every now and then, what's the point? What's the point? Yeah. All right. So it uh, looks like we're starting off with the Sephiroth, though. Oh. All right. That wasn't on the list. Yeah, but I mean, like, it's still a sword character. So he's so keeping correct. a true to form here. Uh, as we get into the game with the Seth, that uh, was not what I was expecting at all. Yeah, I'm really excited to see what this character can do, because outside of Tweak and Sharp sometimes, I haven't seen a whole lot of people rocking with this character and doing really, really well with him, because I thought oh. this character has some... I got hit. Oh, that was smart. Yeah, 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 it was the... ridiculous stuff. yeah, 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 it was definitely the, uh, the orbs down there, but luckily, I think I mean, he, you know, saved his jump for that by using the up B first. Smart. So Louis Money, very familiar with how to deal with the side B from Sephiroth. All right, yeah, this is the real issue right here, though. Is like, yeah, you obviously you want to land some side Bs, but the the range of auto reticle and explosive flame a little farther than that. Uh, so making a little oh, okay, recovery, gonna find them. Uh, the ledge at the very least getting thrown though, down throw into the explosive flame. The slowest explosive flame I had like five yeah. years to jump out of that. I am still somehow very far behind. I don't know how this, what am I supposed to, all right, anyway. <laughs> like, uh, so, you know, I'm sorry, chat. Like, I don't know why we're delayed. I'm trying to fix it. All right, uh, Louis Money, yet again. Up, Ooh. smash though, catching him out of that jump. Uh, and that's gonna be a pretty good stock there for Yanahome. Uh, You know, he's not too far uh, away from losing this stock himself. But at the very least, he can add some more damage here before he has to worry about that. So 48, 50, 51%, that's extra credit. Plus, these orbs most likely hitting as well. Ooh, oh! The spot dodge got through? That was nice. That was definitely a shield break setup for sure. Yeah. For sure, for sure. Hanayome, I mean, we were talking about extra credit, but I wasn't ready to account for this much extra credit. And still counting. Absolutely slicing through Louis money right now. Yeah. Oh, ooh! Well, Definitely slice through him for sure right there, or stab through him with that uh, down air. Very nice uh, catch on the recovery. And I think that is uh, just kind of, that's just Palutena things. I feel like she, whenever I see recoveries get caught the most, it's usually Palutena's, uh, you know, her her invis or her invisibility getting caught as she comes back into this uh, universe. All right. Man, imagine like warping to a different universe for a second, coming back and just Sephiroth's sword to the face. Yeah, as soon as you show up and it's like, what the? Gone. Yep. All right. Nice. So Hanayome doing uh, well at the beginning of this set. Just putting the pressure onto Louis Money to either pick a better character or just play better right now. And this is, I mean, this is a really good lead for uh, Hanayome 2. Only a 63%. About to, might catch wing mode relatively soon as well. Yep, next hit or two. Oh, scary so uh, Wing mode, yeah. All right, got the orbs on him. Gonna have to do something about that. Yep, just lets him back down for free. Yeah, I couldn't really do. I mean, like, honestly, I think the up air might have been a good idea and just traded the damage, but he still finds an up air up there. So, uh, Louis Money, you know, been on this stock for quite some time. He's had to do a lot of stock, uh, damage on or a lot of play on this last stock. Now at 104, a lot of things to be KOing him, but he is still living. Get Tries to get the forward air. Double stab? Nah, not going to hit it. That's a bit too hard with that up, up tilt, but not going to be able to really get too much out of that either. Okay, Hanayama not really able to finish their plate right now. Mm-hmm. Cool. Hey, back here. Time's a hit, and yeah, Hana, uh, Hana Yome definitely got to figure out a way to get, finish this game. There it is, outspacing the close explosive flame and getting that back air to hit. Uh, I know that feels good. The game was definitely starting to escape him, though. So Louis Money started to pick up near the end and uh, and get himself back into this game, almost to getting a come from behind win. But yeah, no great uh, back air there from yeah, uh, Hana Yome. Yeah, beautiful stuff. And this is where it gets scary when you're fighting. Um, you know, a top PGR or a top ranked uh, PGR player because, like, I've seen it so many times where people just get top players where game one is close or maybe even they win game one. And after that, like, maybe a download happens, maybe they start feeling themselves too much and everything falls apart after that. So, yeah, this is the big, big test right now. Mm. All right. 
So, uh, I think we're getting a swap of stage here. Yep. Uh, no swap of character. Which is, uh, not ex I mean, definitely expected. I don't think that Louis Money um, needs a swap just yet. Uh, but I do think that, you know, it took him a little while to kind of get it back into the game. So hopefully he can start this game with a hotter start and get himself a victory here. Or Hanayome is going to be taking this uh, to the third game with the two points on his side. Yep, yep. And right now, Louis Money sent the message, I'm not trying to fight that. <laughs> At least not in the early part of the game. At least not on your terms but on my terms yeah. i'll nair all day yeah all right takes the back air and yep just getting straight chased down that air dodge gonna get him caught up so good start here again for uh louis money as he is definitely oh try to get tricky with the uh way he got back on stage everyone rolls on there when they don't even have to i feel like that's just it's just a customary I'm trying to get off the ledge as quick as possible with a lot of um a lot of invincibility so the roll is your your idea yeah best panic option or most yeah. common panic option i should say all right. Damn. F tilt pushing him right back off. And they explosive the flame, though. Drop zone. I like the Octo Slash users right there by Hanayome. Using it to kind of earn a bit more respect in those uh, recovery situations. Okay. And forward air. Just got kind of putting some uh, pressure there. Oh, but runs right into the explosive flame. Excellent call out. Yeah, as much as I praise that um, Octoslash usage, maybe getting a bit too predictable for Louis Money, calling that one right out with a big active hitbox. Yeah. All right, so uh, we got Hanayome with uh, a little bit of a deficit here, uh, but it, hopefully he can uh, you know, get himself back to this game now. He's starting to get slammed around with these down throws. No uh, follow-ups yet from Louis Money, but he is definitely playing this spacing game quite well. Just keep pushing him back over here, controlling the stage, finally. Hanayome was able to get back to stage with the quick slash of the up B. I love the movement right now. And the patience from Louis Money. Ooh. Smart. Okay, Louis Money. He's, yeah, he, that was that was clean looking too, man. Got the uh the teleport, both making both uh both of the orbs miss and then landed on that ledge or on that uh stage, the platform as well. So that definitely worked out for him as far as staying safe. Does lose that stock though, but uh, Hanayomi got a lot of a lot of damage on him. Is in uh, wing mode, so this should this can lead to something. It's, you know, how long are you going to keep this wing mode is the real question. Yeah. All right, trying to get a little that with the extra jump. I like the way Hanayomi recovers, but so many times, Explosive Flame does not care what you're doing, doesn't care what you're planning. It's just going to exist there, and it's your job to not be there, and Hanayomi not able to find any of it yet. Yeah. You're dancing yet again, though. Hold on. Okay. I mean, he's actually dancing right now, but honestly, that dance ain't doing nothing for him. He gets immediately scooped up. Uh, so Hanayomi. Definitely trying to find a way to get back into this. Looking for these jumps, but Louis Money has been staying relatively grounded, actually, for most of this game. So, uh, well, I don't think he be, should be looking for these jumps as much as he is. However, getting a lot of orbs. However, really enough, the way that Louis Money is playing around these orbs, they have been a very huge non-factor in this game. Yeah, I was just about to shout out how amazing he's been at that. We've seen, like, three or four different ways of, like, spot dodging, teleporting, using grab armor. If there's a way to get through the orbs, Louis Money has done it already or has it planned in pocket, it seems. Oh, oh, goodbye. Yep, 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 yep. You got, if you want to do it like that, turn it around, bro. Like, <laughs> turn it around so you land on the stage, man. We are out of there. Mm -hmm. Everyone's seeing it. Everyone loves it. But, you know, you can't. You're not making it back after that. Yeah. Just a big oopsie right there. Jeez. That, uh, <laughs> that's always funny to me, man, because... Yeah, the whole reason uh, Sephiroth started doing the reverse one is because it strikes through the stage, but you also stay on it. Now, obviously, you can do it forwards, but you have to space it a lot. Uh, you have to space it well to be able to do it forwards, and he definitely spaced that right over the edge into the blast zone. Yeah, and it's also one of the worst ways to SD because you know, like the moment like your controller doesn't shake or you don't hear like the ground shake, you know that something's horribly wrong and there's nothing yep. you can do to fix it. Yep, 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 yep. Just drop into your demise. Yeah. Man. Oh, got to got to wait for the uh, stage pick here as we see, keep the same characters. Uh, I do think that this is a pretty good back and forth set for sure. 
Um, but how is this going to, like, how is this going to straight pay off uh, for one of these uh, players? We go to uh, PS2, trying to win this flex game right now. Third game is always one of the most important in these five game sets if it goes to game five. Yeah, I've got to get that counter pick advantage. And again, Louis Money avoiding any semblance of pressure from those orbs and just starting his own offense with the neutral airs. Okay. Got a stab right there. Not going to get those feet. He's looking for him. Yeah. Okay, up air. Oh. Yeah, so. Okay. We're definitely finding some uh, some decent hits here and there. This uh, Most of this game has been played here on the left side. Oh, take that back, and you almost died for it. Yeah, they got to watch out uh, for the reflectors here in this game. I mean, if, if you were to... You can reflect everything, too. Even the... Uh, even the Giga, you know, the, the Giga Flash, whatever that thing's called, the biggest one, can yeah. be reflected as well, so. And the thing is, that was the first time that that's been thrown out the entire set so far. Every time it's been used as a movement option. So the fact that Louis Money knew that it was that moment or reacted, OD. Yeah. Down throw. Giga Flare, okay. Let's say, here, Carol, call it the Giga Barrel Bomb, bomb Blast and playing so much Monster Hunter. Anyway, uh, <laughs> here we go. Boom. Out of here. I like that. Big jukes right there. Just also getting a headshot. But, yo, the thing is, you got to push the advantage here, man. So that way you can, even if, um, you know, you get hit out, at least you may be in a position where the orb is hit at the same time that it, uh, he is unable to block or move. So. Yeah. I think a big part of that is just because Louis Money is staying so cool under pressure. Like, Hanayomi can't really get a read because Louis Money is not reacting the way most people do once they get those purple orbs on him. Yeah, I feel like everybody else is usually uh, shook, but nah, he's actually still fighting, and then he's like, he knows the timing as well, so that way he can go ahead and juke through. There it is. Yeah, that's Dude. the that's the DI mix up though. Uh, you get back though near the edge, and you you've been holding in. You're definitely taking that back here. Yeah, it was strong when you get that sweet spot. Speaking of, there it is, man. Both the flame showing up as well, and sending him right out this stock. Uh, Louis Money, definitely. Uh, doing well on the second and third game at uh, keeping the pressure up on Hanayome, who is kind of buckling under it, but finds the back air there. Big opportunity at the moment. The ledge trapping hasn't been that strong so far. Uh, Louis Money has been able to slip right back on stage so many times and just start throwing out those auto reticles or exposed flame, buy some space, and then reset. Yeah. Hey, Jukes. Looking for the back air. Got the air dodge, but nah, doesn't actually commit to going for a grab or anything like that. I'm probably expecting a roll in as well. So Honey Yome is doing a really good job. Of, like you see the spacing here on these F tilts and these uh and these you know Nintendo Switch snaps. Love it. The orb though coming out, but he's just uh he's playing he's playing safe. He's playing the the range game that Sephiroth is allowed to play with having a sword that long. Mm -hmm. Ooh, okay, roll. All right, Louis Money possibly running out of seam a little bit here. I don't know what that was, but. Hey, he must have, he was, he was for sure he's getting a roll in or something. I don't know. Hey, okay, F-Tilt yet again. Louis Money down to, uh, you know, maybe like one extra hit or so. The fourth throw, get him off the stage and some mix. Oh! Okay. All right. That was some beautiful mix right there. Yeah. I think, I don't know. I think there was nothing you could do there. The moment you have to teleport at that range, and if um, Sephiroth has the time to reverse that flare, get up there, you're done. You're done with teleport recovery. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, that was like the charge until the jump up. Like, it's like, what, what were you expecting him to do there? Because, yeah, but I mean, regardless, that was God like. Hanayome taking that game too. I was for sure that Louis Money was going to be able to make that back, but no, Hanayome, or uh, not looking like Yana Home to me, bro. That's the homie right there. Showed up. That was a great, uh, a great hit right there. Great little mix. And also got the uh, Oxy Slash, Oxy Slash backwards to make sure it's sent out, man. Good stuff. Yeah, that move is so strong. And it makes for one of the best anti recovery options that I've seen in a DLC character so far. Yeah. Man, that was. <laughs> I'm still thinking about that play, man. I, I, I most definitely got hit as well. <clears throat> I think everyone did. I think, like, if you don't have a jump there, you're done. <laughs> You can try and go higher, but like if you, you know, cover all that vertical space, what do you do? Yeah. So, you think we're getting a switch here of a character? 
Because, I mean, they both stepped out the ring, so. Hmm. Yeah, they both have deep pockets. Mm, okay, nah, but apparently not. Here. Yeah, uh, Hanayome trying to finish it off right now. Not let it get to a game five against Louis Money's Palutena, who, I mean, it is playing well, but Hanayome is definitely hitting him with some of those one stock tricks, you know? You only need it, you, you, it's guaranteed for one stock, but, you know, when you only need to take nine, that one stock can be big. Yep. Up, and you get your theme song? Okay, okay. Yeah, what's going on here? It, they're, they're, the game is even saying they want Hana uh, Yome to win. That's wild. This could be one of the biggest upsets of the tournament if this does happen. I believe I have the seeding in front of me somewhere. Yeah, Louis Money is second seed for this whole thing. So this, if this, if this actually does happen, Hana Yome is a legend. Yeah. I've, I've heard there's been some pretty wild upsets uh, today as well, man. I saw a couple of tweets about it. You know, a couple, top, a couple of top players angry. A couple of other people being like, hey, man, that's the way the cookie crumbles. But, uh, you know, this could be another one added to that uh, to that list of wild upsets. It doesn't feel like an upset, though, the way that Hanayome is playing. It just, you know, but seed-wise, it definitely is. Uh, that's a big secret. You got to act like you've been there before. And right now, Louis Money is trying to make us remember he's still second seed for a reason. Bro, look at the way he's moving, though. I mean, like, of course, all this is just getting uh, beat up by blocks. But, like, I, I still like seeing that type of movement. Oh, look for the... Okay. Oh, oh okay. That's actually a setup too, but I don't know if it would have, it would have KO'd, definitely would have just put him way far away though. And yo, straight up, man, I don't realize that Louis Money has just now started taking damage though. Yeah, yeah, Louis Money has been just walking over Hanayome early on, but the chorus kicked on, so he's gonna get another buff. Uh-oh. Where, where's the, coming for this. <laughs> <laughs> Always does that. <laughs> All right. Here we go, get this neutral air. Okay, I didn't expect that to happen. Okay, that's what I expected last time. Yep, get a back throw. Not gonna kill though, but get that explosive flame. Maybe put out another. No, a lot of respect being shown, but great movement from Louis Money yet again. Okay. Yeah, this is a. Uh, this is like such an interesting way this match is going because like we are what over two minutes into the game and no one has lost the stock. Yeah. And, but, like, no one's... It doesn't really feel like they're camping either, you know? Like, it feels like the action is happening. It's just, you know, taking a long time to get that stock. Finally, though. Jeez. I think a lot of that is just due to how Louis Money is uh, pressing advantages and disadvantages. Because, you know, with all Sephiroth's hitboxes, um, there's a sweet spot and the sour spot for, like, the stab moves. It's near the tip. For the um, slash moves, near, like, the middle of the sword. And Louis yeah. Money's sticking consistently close when he's in range. It's like yeah. either Louis Money's way across stage or in your face. All right, man, now, just kind of running the gambit on him, bro. Like, he is able not, he's not able to get any extra damage, not able to get back to the stage. Louis Money, you know, giving up stage to find nice hits here as well. Almost getting that back here. Three? No, didn't go for the third one. However, the reverse Oct uh, Oct Slash is gonna find it. Beautiful or Omni Slash. My bad, Oct Slash. <laughs> what is Oct Slash? So, that's, that's a move somewhere. Slash, yeah, Omni Slash is like Omni Slash is a limit break, right? Or maybe Sephiroth is next like that. Wait, I, man, look, this the slash. It's it's yeah. Octo Slash. All right. Yeah, yeah. You got. It. All right, bro. I'm over here, second guessing myself. Mm -hmm. All right. Angel came out mad early that time. It scales due to like you know the situation, but. That doesn't bode well when you're like at 30 and you see the wing come out. It's like, yeah, yeah, I know. I yeah. know. Okay. There we go. All right, just big chilling. <laughs> just big chilling on the on the on the edge. Yeah. So that's, all right, so how's your day, man? All right, let's get back to it. Back here. That was almost sick. Okay, gets that back air. Still alive. Yeah, he's still looking for... Now the high recoveries are coming out, though, because so, he keeps going low, so... But he's going low entirely too early, too, so he kind of just gave up stage for no reason. However, still found the back airs here, and, you know, Sephiroth ain't really the character to steal stocks away, but he can definitely get you get some deceptive damage. Speaking of stealing stocks, though, got him with the trump, and you saw the forward air try to come out, but it doesn't matter. That back air is going to go straight through that. Yeah. 
Bouncing and uh, trumping was uh, way, way nerfed compared to Smash 4, but it's still yeah. useful when you have characters like Paladin who can just bop you with that shield and really nothing you can do about it. Yeah, that, all right. that was a pretty dominant game right there from Louie Money. Get it into the game fire. But because Hanayome did win the flex game, that means he's got the counter pick uh, and he gets to pick what stage he wants to go to. And, uh, you know, maybe this will work out for him, get him in that game five. But uh, let's see what Louis Money will do on whatever stage Hanayome decides to pick. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I really can't make a solid read on, like, what stage we're going to go to. Definitely want every single advantage you can possibly get in a game five against a PGR ranked player. But, yeah, you know, he's going to be bringing all the heat, bringing all the smoke. Yeah. I mean, well, he has to basically. You know, it's the last game of the of the set here. Win or lose, someone's moving up and someone's moving down. Uh, and we got oh, the Crom. Okay. Huh. Interesting. What's the stage though? <laughs> ah, okay. Hey, so we're here. We are Town City, the Crom. Um, mm, you know what, man? The thing is, like, I just don't feel like I've seen a lot of Crom lately, so I don't even know how to gauge this. I know this is probably a common matchup from the beginning, but of the game but the metagame is thus chant wow you're dead yeah i was oh wait he can't say. he made he had his jump you're smart yeah but i was just about to say like early on a lot of crumbs didn't like this matchup because crumbs like to mash you can't you can't really mash on palatina yeah and i think the matchup is maybe a bit better than a lot of the crumbs were like saying early on but still not pretty a lot of the time it looks like this a lot yeah, it doesn't look fun at all. I'm not really. I don't think this is probably the time to trade. In fact, you know, uh, I'm I'm expecting to see a counter on one of these recoveries at least once. But we'll see. You know, uh, obviously, it could just be a, a bad start. Prom does. Oh, goodbye. Prom does have good uh, KO power. You know, especially with rage. But dang, that was a. This is a super bad start for him. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just confused. I mean, your Sephiroth is looking like really solid, and wasn't game one or two on the stage? Um, I think so. But yeah, I just, the the fact that Sephiroth was looking that solid, yeah, I mean, you may have lost two games, but that means you also won two games. So, you know, like, now you've kind of just given it all up. Uh, the 64% that you've added up to Louis is like almost nothing unless you end up finding a nice F smash there at the edge. Okay. Oh, wait a minute. The three piece. Oh, it was, it, it was something after all. Yeah. All right. Make Nuss shut up. I respect it. I love it when I'm wrong like that. Yeah. Prom is a very feast or famine character, so like, how that air? Okay, but yeah, like when Krom's getting slapped up, it looks like there's nothing you can do. But when he's like eating you alive, mm -hmm. that's when you feel like the most defenseless in the game. I mean, he's actually, he, he actually is kind of eating though. That boy is moving. Oh, yeah. he didn't even wait for the tech option. He's just like, maybe I can get you before you hit anything. The quick one that F Smash might have killed too with the amount of rage this man has. Looking for the jab back air, but. Not getting that. Oh. Mm, oh. Not sure why you went. I don't know if that move crosses up too often. So, yeah, do that wrong, the wrong way. And yeah, just an easy drop zone. Uh, catching him uh, before he could jump or do anything like that and finds the forward air. Finishing that stock now. Yeah. Hanayome using the running F tilt. He's going to be looking for that jab. Okay, calling out the high recovery. We got ourselves an even game five. Yeah. All right. So this game started off very bad for uh, Hanayome, but he's able to fight his way in here. Now, the thing is, though, like, he still has to play this one super close to the chest because, yeah, getting carried off as Prom could spell imminent doom if you end up wasting that jump. And, oh, okay, that was an, an option. I, I think he actually threw it too far, though. Probably could have got the short one and actually hit the way he was looking for it. But, uh, but yeah. Here we go. Neutral air. Can't get over there and get the back air, but he's at least got the damage uh, racking up, keeping it close. Not only about 12% off. Now taking a little lead here. Such patience from Hanayome, looking for a jab, anything to press that advantage forward. Uh -oh. oh, that's bad. Oh, oh! the platforms! <laughs> they came 